A large wildfire in the Wharton State Forest has been contained for now, but fire officials say people who live in the area are not in the clear just yet. They're keeping a close eye on the Atchin Lake Recreational Area in Burlington County. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan joins us live with the latest information. Cleve? Well, the woods behind me are a little bit black and from uh, the backburn that took place along Route 206 here, but travel is normal and the smoke is low for now. But as things dry out, this fire will possibly consume a lot more of the woods and we could see a lot more smoky conditions. Small flames and smoldering trees line the western edge of Route 206 in Shimong Township Monday. Remnants of a backfire used to contain an 1,800-acre wildfire in remote parts of Wharton State Forest. Officials say it may have burned unnoticed for days, but Sunday's strong wind and low humidity caused it to flare up out of control around 3.30 that afternoon. Well, it was well underway um, when our crews arrived, basically in an isolated area that had very limited access. Bathers at the At Cyan Lake Recreational Area were told to evacuate as New Jersey's Forest Fire Service formed a plan to contain the fire. We started to do our backfiring and build a box around it. Route 206, a busy highway that runs north to south through the pylons, was shut down around 6 p.m. Sunday night. Rain overnight helped fire officials to contain the fire. And people like Joe Koenig, who has a trucking business along 206, were happy to see the highway was reopened Monday morning, even though it was very smoky. I've uh, seen it starting to flare up again, and it was kind of smoky around here. It, was, it, it could be smoky for several days. It? Yeah, well, it was coming across the road. It was like a fog coming across this morning. But the smoke is likely to return this week as the little bit of rainwater evaporates and drains through the sandy pine barren soil. As the weather changes, things start to dry up, you're going to have more and more stuff on fire. So people that work, live, and travel along 206 should continue to monitor the news and social media for any updates about the smoke conditions. And right now they're looking at lightning as being the possible cause of the fire. It's not official yet, but they had a previous fire that was caused by lightning in the same time period. So that's the idea that they're working with right now. We're live in Shimon Township. Cleve Bryan, CBS3, Eyewitness News. Okay, Cleve, thank you for that.